number two for 41 million. There's going to be a shortage of cigars and more demand. You know, whereas a few years ago, you could walk in, buy anything you wanted, and reasonably expect to find it here. Nowadays, certain brands you can't even find anymore. Uh, longer term, I think General Cigar will probably go the same way as Consolid Cigar has, which was, has done well at the beginning and then sort of tapered off as time went by. And I think that's reflective of the concerns that investors have for the cigar industry in general, that, that it may be a fad. The three companies that came public were the three largest companies. And so I would think about another year or two um, once the companies sort of work through their backlogs, uh, which they're doing by both expanding their facilities and sort of um, and buying other small cigar companies to get the access to the tobacco leaves. Uh, I think uh, in a year or two, um, the, the boom will probably be, be over. <laughs> I, I'm very unconcerned at this point about it being a fad. Uh, any consumer product that has the kind of growth that we've seen in cigars in the last four years is going to reach a plateau and will tail off a bit. Um, the thing that we notice in, in our own surveys and analysis of how the market has grown is that it is there are literally millions of new consumers who have come to the market. It